I've got an update on the concern on the material concerning the ban of the Nintendo, the possible ban of the Nintendo Wii. This was written on the 29th of August, 2008. Um, basically, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read this. Uh, it was uh, from find-we.net, but it took me straight to the article, so uh, you'll have to see for yourself because I don't I don't have the entire URL. It's not showing up. The Japan-based video game giant Nintendo is in trouble. A small U.S. technology company, Hillcrest Labs, is now starting a lawsuit against Nintendo, accusing them of patent infringement. Hillcrest Labs insists that they own the patents to the technology that the Wii uses. For this reason, the company has the company has asked the U.S. Trade Panel to stop Nintendo from importing its Wii systems into the United States. The company has also filed a suit in federal court to make Nintendo pay for cause damages. Let's delve a bit deeper into the patents in question. As the Washington Post, report, Post reports, Hillcrest's patented, patented technological specificity is that, unlike other systems, it allows users to browse the web, control their cable box, or in general interact with content not by pressing a button on a controller, but by moving a device left and right, up and down, in front of a television or computer screen. Meanwhile, uh, the Wii video game system allows players to move a remote or a controller left and right to play its different games. That is to say, the technological principles uh, functioning those two systems are similar. As the Washington Post reports, a Hillcrest Labs representative made the statement, while Hillcrest Labs, uh, quote, while Hillcrest Labs has a great deal of respect for Nintendo and the Wii, Hillcrest Labs believes that Nintendo is in clear violation of its patents and has taken this action to protect its intellectual property rights. They also added that there would not be any further comments. Nintendo officials so far, now this is on the 29th of August, and it's now sometime in October, so I think by now this has changed, uh, have no comments regarding the suit. They still seem to be in the dark about it. Um, WeQJ.net quoted Nintendo spokesperson Yahoo, Yashu, Yasuhiro Minagawa saying... We haven't received any notice of the lawsuit and therefore are not in position to comment on it. This is not the first lawsuit um, that has been brought up against Nintendo. Another company tried to reap some of the lucrative harvest that the Wii has been raking in. They tried and succeeded a few months ago. Nintendo lost a case to Anescape Limited and was forced to pay $21 million U.S., in the previous situation, Nintendo did not lose much. $21 million is a drop in the bucket for this money-making giant. The current lawsuit, however, carries with it a much bigger threat. If Hillcrest Labs wins, the sales of the Nintendo Wii will be totally banned in the U.S. This, if it comes to fruition, will be devastating for Nintendo. However, and this is what I'm, I'm hoping these people are right, this next sentence. However... According to expert estimates, possibilities of such situations are very small, and even if, even, if Hel even if Hillcrest's claims are valid. Let me repeat that. However, according to expert estimates, possibilities of such situations are very small, even if Hillcrest claims are valid. So will David beat be Goliath? Only time and a team of expensive lawyers can tell. Now, I'm hoping this is correct. I'm going to I'm going to keep my hopes up in hopes that I'm going to get a Wii for Christmas. And I'm going to be and I'm going to watch the news. I have a feeling that once um once the election is over with and once things settle down a little bit, that this will probably come straight to the forefront at some point, particularly around Christmas season this particular case will be brought to the forefront in terms of the general media if it hasn't already because let me tell you something for the last several years the Wii has been a major top item on Christmas lists but I'm sure you guys already knew that and then all of a sudden you know to take it away from us people are not gonna like that 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm putting all my money on the side of the people that are saying that the odds of this actually happening are slim to nil, and I'm hoping for the best. Um, but that's basically the update for this, and like I said, uh, let me just read that one last time to make sure that it sinks into all of us, including myself, because I need, I'm trying to come, <laughs> I know this is stupid, but I'm trying to comfort myself here. Um, once again. However, according to expert estimates, possibilities of such a situation, that is the Nintendo Wii being banned, are very small, even if Hillcrest claims are valid. So, there we go. Um, does anybody, I don't, this time I don't want to know what you think. The last time I brought this up was on, from Wikipedia. That video, I want to know what you think, but this one, I want something different. I want, um, if anybody has any updates on this, to give me any information on that, and whether or not they know anything, um, but I personally am, like I said, I'm, I'm leaning towards the people who are saying that the odds of this happening are z about zero, and I hope to have a Wii for Christmas, um, here's hoping. Thank you for watching, comments are welcome, if you have any further information on this, let me know, have a nice evening.